You are watching Marvel Live at Comic Con 2015, brought to you by Marvel Future Fight from Net Marvel. I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Marvel's Agent M. I'm Lorraine Sink, host of The Watcher, and we're here with Jeff Lemire, awesome writer. You have a lot of stuff you're writing. <laughs> yes, suddenly <laughs> I am writing a lot of Marvel books, yeah. So, what has been announced this week for you? Uh, so what's been announced? Oh, uh, well, I was writing all new Hawkeye already, so right. that's been uh, issue four shipping very soon. Uh, and then recently announced was the new flagship X Men comic, uh, Extraordinary X Men, drawn right. by Umberto Ramos, and also uh, Old Man Logan, a new ongoing series with Old Man Logan in the modern day Marvel universe, drawn by uh, Andrea Sorrentino and Marcello Mialo, the colorist, uh, an old team we've worked together in the past, and. Uh, we, we love working together, so we're excited about that. That's awesome. Now, what is it like working with Umberto now? Because it's he's a new collaboration for you, correct? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, everyone knows his work so well from all of his work with Spider-Man. Yeah. How has it been collaborating thus no, far? He is such a great guy. He's, uh, well, he's, he's a great human being, first yeah, of all, which is. is always good with collaborators. <laughs> uh, so we get along very well. Uh, but he's such a professional. He's one of those guys that you'll get a new page every day, uh, like clockwork, and it's always so full of energy and so full of life. And, uh, it, it keeps you excited to keep writing the book, for sure, to see the art come in and see him bring your ideas to life and bring those characters to life. It's, it's really great. Yeah. I love that so much. And now, what can you tell us about the story of Extraordinary X-Men? Sure. There's a certain uh, amount of mystery that we're, we're kind of keeping right. out there until the book comes out. but. What I can say is that uh, after Secret Wars, um, the, all the books will pick up eight months later after. So there's a bit of a gap from Secret Wars to the first issues. Right. And um, in that eight month gap, there has been a, uh, a conflict between mutants and inhumans. Uh, and what exactly happened, we're keeping that a mystery for now. Mm -hmm. But as a result, uh, mutant kind is scattered. The X-Men are no more. Uh, Scott Summers' Cyclops is missing, possibly dead. Um, and the place, the, the world has become a very hostile place for mutant kind again. Uh, and uh, in in the wake of all of that, Storm sort of takes it upon herself to carry the torch of Xavier's dream and reform the X Men, and and with the goal of protecting mutant kind and, and keeping mutant kind alive, really. Uh, so it's a very desperate situation, and she assembles what she sees as as the best mutants for that job. I love that. And as you said, it, it's going to be like the flagship book for the X-Men. Mm -hmm. What is it like taking that on? That's really exciting. It's surreal and, and thrilling. Yeah, it's so flattering. I mean, the X-Men have, I think, one of the greatest histories of any any property of Marvel. Mm -hmm. It's so rich, so many great characters, so many great runs, so many great writers have, have worked on the book previously, and uh, to be a part of that lineage is super flattering and incredibly exciting uh, and a little daunting. Who are you the most excited to write for within the X-Men? Uh, my favorite X-Men is, is Magic. Uh, oh, cool. I, I love Magic, and I love her brother Colossus, so I love that little family dynamic within the, the bigger family of the X-Men family, and that's that's been really great. And just bringing Old Man Logan into the team, as mm. opposed to the regular Wolverine, right. it, can, it casts a completely new light on all the old relationships, so that really allows us to do some new storytelling and new uh, new team dynamics with him that we haven't seen before. So because you're writing Old Man Logan, are we going to see crossovers between those books? I, no direct crossover, you know, mm -hmm. no like part one and next men, part right. two and Wolverine, but I mean obviously it's the same character and he's he's having adventures with the team and adventures on his own, so I'm going to keep it very consistent and uh, he, he, and eventually I'm sure that the two, those two books will probably meet up at some point. Yeah, I love that so much. Uh, some fan questions coming in. They're using hashtag MarvelSDCC. Uh, or questions and comments. Lucas Ackerman says he's super excited that Old Man Logan is sticking around the Marvel Universe pro Secret Wars. Renee Laufeson says, uh, Hi, Jeff. Will there be any uh, Kate Bishop in All New Hawkeye when we, we Oh, come yeah, back? absolutely. Kate's the, she's the star of the book. And, and Clint's just guest starring. No, that's not true. But yeah, Kate's the co-star for sure. It's a, the book is very much about both of them. And uh, I guess I can get a little spoiler that um, the first arc of Hawkeye that we did, you know, we were flashing back to Clint and Barney's childhood. Uh, and the third arc we're doing is going to do a similar thing, but we're going to be seeing Kate's childhood. So we're cool. going to do a lot of a lot of Kate for sure. Yeah. And when all new Hawkeye comes back, is that going to be? continuing yeah, the same arc. It's the same story I always had planned. Um, the Secret Wars 
allowed us to do some fun stuff that I hadn't had planned, but for the most part, it's the same story I was always going to tell. Um, just set in the post secret Warriors universe now, and, and as a result, a couple things, uh, a couple fun things arose that I'm playing with. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, Agents of Heroes wants to know who's your favorite Avenger? Ooh. Favorite Avenger? Uh, I've always been a huge fan of the Vision. Uh, the Vision and Scarlet Witch were always my favorites as kids, but the, something with the Vision I, I love, yeah. Cool. Uh, Wim Sad Mojo says, if you could be any X-Men character, who would it be? Uh, easily Wolverine, Logan, old man Logan, probably. Maybe with not so old. all those emotional <laughs> scars, those terrifying <laughs> things that, like, I was try I'm trying to process. No, but he would be young man Logan. Yeah. I would so be then, middle. So then he has be, all that to look forward to, like yeah. the sadness and everybody all dying. All that means nothing. Uh, really, it really comes down to the fact that Wolverine is Canadian and so am I, so we have a lot in common already. There Fair you enough. Go. <laughs> uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy from South Africa wants to know, will the Hawkeyes get any new or special, you know, arrows, weapons, gadgets, things that they're playing with? Very much so, yes. Some, some very uh, advanced technology coming their way very soon post Secret Wars. Does it involve children? Uh, the the children, it really, the children that we've seen Kate and Clint mm -hmm. dealing, uh, trying to rescue in the first arc, will be uh, a continuing thread throughout the series. Yeah. Like it. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Jeff, where are fans going to be able to find you online? They will find me on Twitter. It's just my name, and that's the only place they will find me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as as we said before, I was interviewing Jeff before, and he said, I think that's the only place I'm comfortable with people yeah. finding me. <laughs> you, <I don't>. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're going to have more coming up on Marvel Live. We have Sanford Greed coming very soon, so stick around. We're brought to you by Marvel Future Fight from Net Marvel.